Get off the couch, the show you hate to love. This is episode nine. We got Winnipeg's most stopping through on their Western Canada tour. Gonna get them up here on the couch. Charlie Feta, John C. Ask them a few questions, get to know them better. Uh, thanks to everybody that went to Facebook and checked out the Get Off the Couch page and posted their own questions. So if you guys wanna look as good as Winnipeg's most when they're up on stage, head to effin.com. We got all the gear there, you guys. You guys wanna stay in touch with what the crew's doing, you can head to stompdown.ca. So I don't wanna waste any more time, you guys. I wanna get Charlie Feta and John C. up here on the couch, get through some questions, have a little drink, see what they gotta say. It's gonna be a good episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So here it is, we got Winnipeg's most, Charlie Feta, John C. Why don't you guys join me up on the couch? How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Always good. Got the bottle of Hennessy out here for you. I got my homie Fingers here. Hey Fingers, can you uh, can you get us some glasses and some ice here, homie? Oh, thanks so much, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, that'll be all, that'll be all. I was Merck's old security guard, but uh, he looked at me funny, you know? Got a little... Got a little fist of cuffs. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> the old crave, the old one, and we just kind of had a little duo. <laughs> he works for me now, so it's all good. But here, man, here, let's uh, let's get the get the glasses out. We got the ice here. We got Winnipeg's most on the couch. They're doing the Western Canada tour. I heard you guys uh, got a little sick over the last little bit. You guys just running too heavy or what? Man, we caught like the Black Plague or something. Straight up? <laughs> I think we got it from Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh, shit. It's those mosquitoes. I think it is, too. Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, chop me up there a little bit here? Can I, I'm going to have a couple of lumps in mine, too. A couple of racks. Another thing, too, I, I've never... Whoa, you see that? You catch that one? That was a kickflip of the ice cream. <laughs> that was get off the couch Olympics right there. I've never actually drinking this stuff. Is this, this, is, this is pretty good, eh? You guys... Uh... Uh, it warms you up. Yeah? I, I, you guys ever drink Old English? That's kind of more, more my thing. When oh, I was like 15? Yeah, yeah. yeah when I was they don't sell them in Manitoba no more. Oh, no way? They don't sell them no more. Oh, man. Okay, well, You're too dangerous. Cheers, yeah. boys. Thanks for joining me on the couch. Much good. appreciated. Is this your guys' first tour, like this side of Canada, or what? It's our first tour period. Yeah, oh, no our way. First major tour, yeah. So, which album are you guys mostly playing? You got anything new? The Goodfellas record is uh, is the yep. latest, but uh, the whole tour is just kind of a collaboration of everything. Put right on, right on. So, you guys are pretty much doing, doing every province, you're hitting all the major cities. Yeah, yeah. and the ones, yeah. the little ones in between. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys, uh, you guys keeping yourself entertained in all this uh, craziness or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got we got rainbows and rallies, yeah. so we good. You guys got a good crew that you're rolling with then? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Definitely. Right on. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask you guys a couple of questions. These all come in from uh, just fans that just wanted to know more about you, and so I'm gonna get started with Morgan Hebert. What was each member doing before they made it in the Canadian hip hop scene, i.e. lifestyle, work? You guys want to talk about day jobs? You want to talk about? I'm, I'll, 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 keep, I'll keep it real. I, I, yeah, I ain't never had no day, day job, night job, I don't know, job period. Just kicking it in the streets and started rapping. I think we all just kind of came from more of a negative lifestyle prior to uh, to making a real go at music. That uh, interview I saw you guys with CBC, that was awesome. If you guys check out on YouTube, 8th Fire, Winnipeg's Most, it was a good little expose of, uh, of, of your hometown and you know where you guys came from. There's obviously only two of you here on the couch. I don't know where I would have put Brooklyn, but uh, you guys want to touch on that at all? He's uh, not not a part of the tour right now. Uh, I mean, there's only one reason he's not a part of the tour is because he's incarcerated. I mean, right now, right now he's locked up in Winnipeg for maybe till June, and then once he's out, we're gonna do this all over again. The Heat Bag Records. You guys want to talk about that at all? Uh, Heat Bag started uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, myself, John C, Old Bubbles, um, Doug D, were the original four members of it. Um, we kind of just all met in the span of about a year, and then we were all kind of making music, so we all just kind of joined forces. Right and then Winnipeg's most kind of just spawned right out of that. Right and then, and then Heat Bag Records just kept going with, with more and more artists, more and more talent. In Winnipeg, there's a lot of unity amongst uh, the hip hop community, so. With, with us always working with all these other artists, we kind of got the feel of 
who we want to work with more or less, right and we started bringing more artists in. That leads me into the question: uh, Who's a young cat that you guys see coming out of Winnipeg right now, specifically? Anybody on the, you know, anyone you can think of off the top of your head that you could? Z Killer, yeah, 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 right on. Yeah, Z Killer, yeah, busy B, he bag records, member, but I mean, this kid's amazing. There's a little dude, uh, Goody. He's only like uh, 15. Right on. He's, he's doing his thing too, but as far as uh, like young and being actually really polished for, for his age and his experience, I'd, I'd have to definitely say Z, he's definitely. Definitely somebody to watch coming out of Winnipeg. Right, right. Hey, I gotta ask too. I noticed this come up a little bit online. The tattoo on your arm, the it. Pennywise. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, Penny that's Penny the right. All right, all right, all right. You just a fan of scary clowns or what? Uh, no, I'm just like a huge fan of the like, horror movies. And, right on. I got no Nosferatu on the other side. Well, right on. Horror movies? <laughs> horror, <laughs> horror movies. Horror movies as well. <laughs> but no, uh, I've just been a huge fan of Stephen King, and uh, right it was one of my favorite books, and it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Right and then I actually got informed that Evil yep. is in the movie, so it's wow. fucking dope. Yeah. yeah, he did a lot of acting. Yeah, yeah Evil's like in all it. Sorts of stuff. Yeah. Snack told me that, and I was like, yeah. what? I was yeah. like, that's fucking awesome. All right, so I got a question here from Elijah G. Len Leonard Doozy. <laughs> that name's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Will we ever see a snack in Winnipeg's most collab? I'd love to do it. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing his thing on the West Coast, and we're doing our thing in the Central. So, For sure. I mean, we're we're down to collaborate with anybody that's uh, got the same drive. I think we like collaborating with uh, artists that don't necessarily share our style and and making something fresh because I feel that a lot of artists kind of get stuck in one um, one little like mindset and one sound and one yeah. kind of. You know, way of thinking, and I, I don't think that's healthy for any artist. Okay, uh, Trey O'Connor wants to know how did SDK get connected with Winnipeg's most? We've been we've been down with um, with Viz for a long time. Like uh, he's always been supportive with the gear, yeah, and everything. And uh, I met him a lot of years ago at a, at a clothing trade show, yeah, and I uh, with Q, and uh, we've kind of kept in loose contact ever since then. And I know same thing with John C. Once they kind of made the connection through the through the gear, it's just kind of uh, yeah. cultivated into, into, into a good... Uh, and now you're here? Yeah, and now we're here. I, 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 rep, I represent SDK <coughs> and FN in Winnipeg all the time, no. you know what I mean? Right like, on. The gear is classic, the, the, you know what I mean? Your guys' whole movement's classic, so I mean... Respect. Yeah, man, 100%. Respect. Yeah, I think, I think we just really respect, like it kind of goes back to the snack question of, of who we're willing to work with. It's it's kind of we're trying to be all encompassing of, of, of the whole movement of the style of, of for the music sure. of, for sure. of the look the vibe the image and, and I think Effin and SDK and Snack and Evil and everything you guys are doing out here just meshes really well right. another style that you guys like to rock uh, I've seen a lot of times in your videos is the Winnipeg Jets you guys like to I'm a Jets I'm Jets. a Jets season ticket over <coughs> man I'm a, no way yeah. no way well maybe we'll talk a little we'll talk a little Canucks and Jets then oh because I wanted to bring up I wanted to bring Chicago. up Chicago I wanted to bring up your uh, <laughs> I wanted to bring up your young luck winger, Evander Kane. How about Dustin Bufflin? Oh, Evander Kane. What about him? Evander Kane, I mean, he's pretty much your, your one of your top goal scorers. Yeah. He's yeah. got a lot of points for you guys. He's, he's pretty much Winnipeg. Winnipeg doesn't like around him, Winnipeg's though. Douchebag That's too. what I mean. Like, Winnipeg, like, I, he's a great player. Right. Evander Kane's an amazing talent. And he talented. comes from Vancouver. That's yeah. why I bring him up. Yeah, oh, no, okay. but he's, <laughs> he's, been, think, he's been punched out more times in Winnipeg yeah, he's, than he's, he's probably he's, been in he's, Vancouver. He's got, he's got, yeah, he's got and a, and a lot I of issues. And I talk in audio. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got into a lot of issues in Winnipeg. Really? Winnipeg's yeah. very blue collar. Yeah. We're a very blue collar city. Yeah. I know Vancouver is is a little like more upper echelon, like as far as, you know, like, yeah. lifestyle or whatever. Basically, his arrogance. It's, he's got a little bit of an arrogance, yeah. His shit didn't fly in Winnipeg. But he's young. He's a young player. He's in the wrong spots, the wrong times, the shit. With the wrong five. attitude, but I mean, you I got a concussion here and there, missed two games, <laughs> yeah. whatever. <laughs> on, on the ice, on the ice, I'm a huge fan of Evander Kane. Uh, off the ice, I can't say too much. So this is, I like this question here, Sam Cote. What would it be if it wasn't Winnipeg's most? Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> what would it be? I don't. Wow, I don't it'd know. Be, it'd be three heat bags. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Jake by winning merit. I don't know what that kind of name is, but... <laughs> <laughs> What's it feel like to look at the people that told you you weren't going anywhere in life when you first started and say, What, bitch? I got mad fans now. 
Oh, <laughs> shout out to him. Yeah, shit. Who's that dude? Uh, I think he spoke for us. Yeah, that's that's by <laughs> winning. That's that's more or less what it feels like, man. Yeah, we're... exactly. I mean, especially especially us, like coming from uh, coming from Winnipeg, coming from the hood, coming from like you know the struggles we had to do, yep. we had to do to get what we had to get. But I mean, yeah, it's it's right now. It's 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 definitely a big smile back right in your face. You know? It's more like a middle finger, middle face. But I mean, I think we've we've grown as artists though too, kind of recognize that. It's it's like show and prove yeah, and everything and in and life. And they don't so, matter, you know what I mean? Yeah, like For the sure. naysayers never matter, but it feels good to actually uh, see your hard work pan out. And, yeah, that's and, what I say. Is just let it let let our let our work show show what we're doing. You know, For let sure. our work kick them in the ass. You know? For sure. You guys uh, already thinking of uh, the next album or? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely we're definitely on the next album already. Uh, we're just getting beats in from Stomp and J-Ma. Right on. Uh, by the time Brooklyn's out in June, uh, we'll already be ready to go. And I mean, Brooklyn's a writing monster, right? So For sure. He's got tons of stuff written inside. And... Now you mentioned Stomp and who was it? J-Mac. Yeah. J-Mac. Why don't you guys let us know uh, who they are? They were the producers of Red's official music. Uh, that's kind of how we connected. Yeah, they're like our exclusive producers for Winnipeg's most. They're as much a part of the group, I think, as uh, as any of the three rappers are. Yeah, sure. most definitely. There's five of us. There's yeah. three rappers and two producers. Right on. And you guys met them in Winnipeg as well? Or? I yeah. ran my ass off for J-Mac like four years ago. <laughs> and he like, he's like, yeah, I'll send you a beat, man. I'll send you a beat. And then like fucking two years passed and there was still no beat. Right. And then Stomp just hollered at us and he just was like, I want to do a project with you guys, let's make it happen. He sent us a batch of beats, flew out to Winnipeg, we recorded the whole first album in my dining room. Just made a little home studio. It sounded, nice. Yeah, it sounded really good and uh, we just we just grew, grew from there. But Stomp's got a new album dropping called The Knock. And I mean, he's got really, really like diverse features. Like he's got Don Amaro, he's got us, he's got uh, Evil. I think he's reaching out to Snack. He's got a lot of a lot of different styles of music, and like Don Amaro's like a, kind of like a folk, right. a kind of a country folk guy. Right. Both have an album coming out. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, Jay's is Jason music. Yeah. Okay. Jason, Jason music, music, and then Stomp is the knock. So I gotta ask you guys, uh, what do you guys do when you get off the couch? Studio, then hit the stage. Yep. It's, it's it's pretty much all music for us. Like it's it's a kind of a full time push. Right now, specifically at this point in time today, how are you guys gonna get off the couch? We're gonna get off the couch going crazy, for real. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna probably down that ball on the other seat. For one Maybe. shot? You yeah. guys gonna hit this show up in Langley? <laughs> oh, we're gonna smash oh, yeah, the we're show in Langley. I'm psyched Langley. for the show in Langley. And I, I wanna let you guys know, I, I don't know if you've seen my internet presence. It might be, my internet presence online is a little, a lo, a little low key. It might, it might not be as big You're as like you guys. You're like off the grid yet on the grid. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I, do, I, I do that on purpose. It's like, a, it's like a, you know, I don't, I don't wanna really be too noticed. I wanna stay underground. It's I wanna keep it, I wanna keep it real. Yeah. But I've, I've been rapping. I've been doing a few shows. I did a little bit of work uh, out in Nanaimo, not too recently with Merck. So I mean, I know you guys are headlines. Lining. But I hope that uh, you know maybe on the way there, uh, you know, in the limo, I could maybe just you know show you guys what I got, and you guys just let me know. You know, if you want my help, I mean, I'm not gonna push it on you. You just think about it. But if you want my help, I'll uh, I'll, I'll come up there. What about yeah. security? Working? I'll give you a little. Oh, uh, I'll. I'll uh, uh, I meant, hey, man. If anything needs to happen, I got I got the Craver one two combo. I got the boots coming out. I mean, I may look like a skinny little dude, but seriously, I got a few judo chops. Yeah, I, I bet you and me teamed yeah, up. I mean, yeah. I can see, I can see the scars on your hands. I mean, I might not have as many scars, but I mean, they might be a little manicured and everything. But I mean, I can, well, I can talk smack. I mean, I can talk a lot of smack. I'll stand behind. You. I'll hit him when they're you down. Started, and you jump on. It. All right, all right, good. That's yeah. usually how it works. So I think, it's, works. I think this could be a good thing. Yeah. So we should That's go hit this show. Yeah. Let's go hit this show. Let's do it. Uh, you grab the bottle of Hennessy and uh, let's hop in a limo and let's do all this, right. boys. Let's go. Oh. Good time, man. Fuck, yeah. crazy show. Yeah, we come back, uh, empty glasses, and uh, no. we're out of. No Henny? Yeah, we're out of Henny. No, no. We'll have to. 
Finnick. Oh, pulls a little something up from the tree, eh? I think this is a new record for uh, Get Off the Couch. We got uh, Perez Ray. What can be said about this Coney person? Just curious. Yo, man, that was some kind of some bullshit. Dude that made it a big deal got caught jerking off naked and shit. Didn't yeah, he? well, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> and then, and then I heard, and then I heard that Coney isn't even like the worst dude. And there's like, it's all I think it's, it's all propaganda, propaganda yeah. because they got oil. Propaganda. You know, I mean, everyone's just looking for something to jump on board and you know save the fucking world. And I mean, yeah. I think before, I mean, I know that there's issues in in every country, but I think you should look in your own fucking backyard before you start. <laughs> you know, mow your own fucking grass before you fucking ask me if mine's too long. You know, like, just uh, put it out there. Might as well let you guys know uh, the popularity which I retain. Oh, and how much does one have to pay to get a kiss from Craver? I would kill if I had to, to shake hands with such a godlike human. Just to let you guys know the, the, the validity I have here of uh, interviewing you, it's kind of a big deal. It's unfortunate that it's a man, but hey, I'm going to take, take what I can get, right? <laughs> Charlie Feta, I wanted to ask you something here, because I wanted to know, if I was ever uh, around uh, Winnipeg, Specifically around the four, six, eight Main Street, who wanted to get a mocha. Just wondering if you knew oh, uh, a coffee house in the area. Fucking Parlor Coffee, man. Parlor Coffee. House. Parlor Coffee is like, man, that is like, I swear to fucking God, I'll be hung over as shit, <laughs> and I will walk into that place and I will get a fucking mocha, and like fuck Starbucks, <laughs> fuck all that shit. Parlor fucking coffee on Main Street in Winnipeg, Manitoba has the absolute best coffee. That's a, that's a pretty big uh, shout out to Parlor, yeah, parlor coffee. coffee, man. <laughs> Next time I go in, man, give me a fucking moment. There you go. <laughs> Thanks so much to, uh, to to all the supporters, all the fans out there. Everybody that uh, has gone to Get Off the Couch on Facebook and liked that. You'll always be updated on the next guest and you'll be able to uh, put your questions in. That might get asked right here on the show. And one special person gets their question asked and wins the prize pack, and today's is from Chums Biss. What did the dude at the Edmonton show do to get his ass called out? <laughs> Shit's bugging me. I missed it. Laugh out loud. Good show, by the way. All right, all right. Wow, okay. that dude deserves the fucking okay. prize pack for that yeah. shit. All right. This is it. We, I pe that was, it was we, good, right? Like yeah. I, I can tell. I like personal questions. I like that's, people that know. So we, go, we go level with them. We go right, level let's, with them. Let's get, let's get right. to this. Let's get to this. Okay, we. I was I was doing the show. We were doing the show. The show was going on. We were on stage. I like I don't know if I see something fly by me, but I, I looked out in the so, crowd. I seen okay. this dude with fucking his finger right up to me. I thought he was just like doing it like out of like he's fist pumping his right, finger. Right. It's just exciting. Yeah. But no, then I started nosing, he's like giving me the fucking finger. So I started getting mad. <laughs> you guy. almost jumped off the stage. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I almost head. jumped off the stage. And then, and I then, caught the and play. Then anyways, the yeah. song ended. Yeah. John C's choked. Like, yeah. we're, we're pissed off. We're gonna come yeah. pay money. Security, to yeah, security yeah. grabbed him. And <laughs> Fedda starts this fucking crazy chat. Everybody in the house say, fuck that guy. Yeah. And everybody, <laughs> everybody said it. I was like, one, that two, that three, guy. like, fuck that guy. Right on. And then I can't, you know, we acted accordingly. We we as artists, we we, we saw something in the crowd. I saw something that my brother wasn't feeling. Yeah. So, I mean, I told security, we cut the music. I said, you know, that guy needs to fucking go. Yeah. Because we don't want no violence at our shows. We don't For want sure. no, no hate. Sure. Security grabbed him and, uh, he decided that he was gonna fight the security. No and, way. Uh, yeah, he, he threw a him. shot at the security. They beat the motherfucker out of his pants. <laughs> right to his gitch. To his gitch, literally. No, when he was getting pulled out, I didn't know where his pants went. No way. Like, his in pants his are boxes. still at, no at the way. club. His pants are probably in the lost and found at the Dude, isn't that probably. amazing that you guys are at the point now where people pay money to give us the just fingers. to give you a finger? That's what I said. Like, Isn't that um, insane? Yo, shut up to that guy for spending his paper on. On us, you know. So Chums Biss uh, wins the. Uh, there's a, there's, a, there's a, cheers, a fifty dollar prize cheers, pack uh, from Effin for everybody out there that wanna get to know you guys more. Uh, let us know. Shout out. You can basically Google Winnipeg's Most and you'll find tons on us. But uh, Facebook, it's slash Winnipeg's Most slash John C Heatbag uh, Brooklyn Two Hundred Four. Yeah. Twitter's at, at, at I am Stomp uh, at I am J Mac. At 
John C. Heatbag at Brooklyn Heatbag at Charlie at Winnipeg's Feather. most at Winnipeg's most at Heatbag Records www dot at DJ Dow Jones Winnipeg's most dot ca you can find some stuff where our site's kind of going through uh, construction right now but that our site's up yeah I'm uh, fucking floored still another another another, another way it's for good. another good. way for the people out there that aren't in Winnipeg and, and do want to get some of our gear online we have a we have a website online uh, it's NSHB Winnipeg.com where you can find all Winnipeg's most and heat bag gear, hats, CDs, scarves, everything. You can find everything. We right keep on you there. warm. Yeah. Alright, well thanks so much you guys. I, and I, shout out, yo, and shout out SDK and Effin, yo, real talk. Oh, and a big out free Brooklyn. Yeah, free Brooklyn. Salute my brother, man. Right we'll side. We'll send that out to Brooklyn. Uh, the next time you guys are on tour, I'm sure he'll be around. Uh, we'll we'll have to get a bigger couch, but yeah, that's they, fine. They, we'll get him. Like yeah. Another, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work for Brooklyn. I'll just thin out. John's gonna do P90X. Uh, before, uh, hey, I fuck with Chuck also, Norris. I fuck with oh, Chuck, Chuck Norris, Norris, man. Chuck Norris and Bass Rudin. Right. Oh, <laughs> Bass Rudin's crazy, yo. Liver kick. Oh, that's a liver kick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a combo is a liver bang, kick. Bang. Bang. It's as good as watching fucking the old Ultimate Warrior clips. Right on, man. <laughs> Right on. Nothing Real is talk. as good as the old <laughs> Ultimate Warrior clips. Right on. The sun's Yo, in but the yeah, shout out. Line. Dude, I want to watch this right now. <laughs> shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Effin and SDK for holding us Respect. down from, from uh, Vancouver to Winnipeg. Surrey, shout out. Thanks to all the cities that had us on their tour. Clydesdale. Yeah, Clydesdale Entertainment's been a huge part of putting this together. Uh, and just a big shout out to all the fans that actually paid their hard earned dollars to come and see us perform. It means the world to us. Salute. The salute. All right. And with that, we're going to say uh, Winnipeg's most. It's time to get off the couch. All Thanks right, so bro. much, man. Thanks. Respect. Respect. Thanks so much for coming out, oh, you guys. Thanks for making all the time the in your heart and your, in your uh, crazy tour and your crazy schedule. Uh, much respect. Thanks again. We'll see you next time, okay? Peace. All right, man. Peace. All right, well, there you guys have it. Episode 9, Winnipeg's most. Um, thanks so much to Charlie Feta and John C. Uh, for taking a bit of time today. And... Um, that's it. We're going to uh, get off the couch. Uh, until next time, stay tuned to Get Off The Couch on Facebook. I'll let you guys know who the next guest is going to be. Post your questions there. Win the prize pack. Until next time, get off the couch, baby.